Hi, this is Asen. Today, I would like to share how to create groups for option buttons and unselect all buttons with a click. Okay, let's go to Developer tab and Visual Basic. First, we insert user form. If let's say we have three questions here, okay, we can use label to flavor the number of questions. So for example, this label, then we just click again with one click, do not double click. If not, we will enter the coding part. So we change or we can write under the caption. So maybe this one we change to question one. Okay, so for question one, let's say we would like to change the font size and the font type. So we click look for the font and then we choose the desired type and size. Okay, done already. Then we back to the user form. We look for option button. And let's say we have three options for the first question. So we can also click and then we change the caption or we go to the properties and then we look for caption and change accordingly so the first option option one okay after that we can actually press the button okay make sure it's selected then we use the control button on the keyboard then we press it and then we drag so this will help us to copy the option button directly. Okay, now the number is option button 2. We don't change the name here, but we change under the caption, we change it to option 2. So we have to be careful, we have to make sure that the name or the numbering is consecutive. Okay, the code is consecutive. So option button 1, option button 2. This is to avoid when we run using loop, no arrow. Okay, then option 3. Okay, done already. Then we can proceed to question 2. So for question 2, again, we can click and then change 2. So if let's say we have 4 options for question 2. Okay, so now as we can see, already four. So one, two, three, four. Make sure it's consecutive. Okay, this one we can change to like A. And then we drag and paste. This one be B. And we drag and paste. This one be C. Then we drag and paste. This one be D. Okay, what's the difference between we group the option button and without grouping? So initially, by default, if we refer to the group name, it's empty. So meaning to say all the option buttons here with a group, group name of empty. Empty. Okay, now. So now we go and check. We run and see what happened. So if let's say we selected the option button 1, if we want to select option button 2, as we can see, we can't select. So this is logic because it's all under question 1, meaning to say we just can select one option. So if let's say I would like to select any from the option any from the question 2, as we can see. Selected option 2, we can't select B. Selected B, we can't select option 2. So this is a bit weird because different questions cannot choose the answer accordingly. So what we do here is we have to create a group name. So for example, first question, I will use group 1. So 1, 1, and 1. Then this one, question 2, under question 2, all 2. 2 and 2. Okay, now let's say we need another question, we just drag and copy. 
So this will be question three. Okay, if let's say we have two options under question three. With option yes, no. Okay, again, we need to group them as well. So this is option button 8. We change it to group number 3. Group number 3. Okay, now let's check. So we run, as we can see, we selected 1, option 1. We can select option 2. We selected option 2. We can select option 3. However, different question, if we want to select the option, yes, we can. We are not able to select different options within the same question. But across the question, yes, we can. So creating the group part, we have done it. How if I say we would like to reset all? Okay, we back to visual basic. So now we create a reset button. So let's put it here. Reset. Then we change the caption to reset. Now if let's say we would like to change the font type and the color, we can change this here. Okay, the font type. Okay, maybe like Times New Norman, bold, and then we choose a bigger font size. Okay, then the color, we can choose the back color to, okay, maybe like purple color. Okay, so, then what we have to do next, we just have to double click on the option button so that we can insert the code inside. So we double click. Okay, from here, we have to make use of for loop, okay, to make sure that all option button is being unselected. So, we have option button 1, 2, 8. Okay, double confirm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 should be 9. Okay, so make sure the number link is consecutive. So we can see option button 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If let's say sometime like we don't want a particular option already, then we remove. So make sure the number, the sequence is still consecutive. Okay, or else we just have to apply the code on arrow resume next. Okay, so we're back to the reset button. Okay, change to 9 because all together we have 9 option buttons. So, what we need to do, reset all. So, we have to make use of user form 1 dot. Okay, we use controls. So, what control we should have? Okay, the option button. Make sure the spelling and the letter is correct. So capital letter for O and B option button. And then we use emphasis to connect with the numbering. So we have I. So we can use that variable. Then we dot value equal to false because we want to change everything to unselect okay so false means that it's not being selected okay so start from i1 so done already go to i2 means that next i okay now we check and see so we run the user form so we can select select and select but we are not able to select different options within group Okay, so now we reset. So all being unselected. Okay, how will I say as we see just now? Okay, as we see, what we say just now, this one we said we suppose 
don't want already then we delete okay then we run and see so select 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 then reset as we can see we will come with error because the option button is not being found so what we have to do we just have to add another code call on error resume next means that if this error occur we go to the next line so this error occur already so go to next line means that next line so we'll continue to the next option button okay let's check so run click click and click so reset as we can see no error all button being unselected without any error okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you